So hello YouTube, I am of course in World of War, and here I bring you guys another Black Ops 2 gameplay on the map Standoff. Of course this gameplay is not like any other gameplay, well it kind of is, I mean I do well of course, but I get 84 kills in the first round, so it was pretty impressive, but unfortunately I only get 6 in the second round, and that's because our, te our team just kind of, it doesn't extend the round by like... <laughs> Planning, like we win both rounds, so that kind of shortens it because overtime really does help you with kills and everything. But also because this SMG rusher guy just rushes me from the stairs, and I'm I'm not being able to fight back. So yeah, LMGs are definitely not for rushing. Yeah, they definitely got to camp with them. Be advised. So anyway, I'm just kind of see, see those like 300 kill drones that like try to. I think it was about 300 kilograms to try to get me this game, but I kind of just outrun them or something. I mean, those things are so annoying. I mean, they just get basically you throw one up in the air, you get a free kill. Anyway, yeah, I'm just kind of looking here because I'm. They, they, when I spawn on this side, this is the best. When you're defending, this is the best camping spot for the side. You just kind of sit here in the street and just. Well, actually, not in the street, just watching the street. Because all you have to really watch is the stairway right behind you. And what I do is I put a claymore down there. Bomb offline. And when I put a claymore down there, the it basically it basically either kills the intruder or it alerts me to the shooter location. So either way, I I kind of win either way. So yeah, but don't worry, you don't have to worry about that side door too much because people rarely come there. See, I got really lucky there with the knife. So people rarely come there. Like unless it's, they're really spawn trapping you, because it is harder because the, the enemy spawn, your friendly spawn is right there. So, I mean, you just have to kind of, you just have to watch this basically. Make sure no one comes from behind you, and then you're fine. And make sure no one snipes you out too. Just, you gotta play, you gotta play it smart, even though you're behind a shield. Bomb online. So anyway, I'm almost at my VSAT here. I'm just wondering, is I kind of, should I call in? Because you have to look, always look at the score and the time just to make sure you're not wasting your streaks at the end of the round. You got that guy with the Claymore, see? That's where you gotta watch that door. And then, see guy here, got his foot, and then got my VTOL, but I don't call my VTOL in immediately because, of course, I've gotta wait until my top streak because if I don't do that, it will be basically just a waste at that point if you just kinda. I mean, you're basically just throwing away your streak if you kind of, if, 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 well, not throwing it away. I mean, you can still get to use it, but dogs and beetle are pretty effective when combined together. Like, because, I mean, they, they, people can't hide it, can hide in your buildings from your beetle, but they can't hide from the dogs. So, I mean, they work together, so people are hiding in buildings, dogs get them, then they'll start spawning out in the open, and your beetle gets them. So, it, it works pretty well. I mean, if you guys don't believe me, you should give that a try. I mean, swarms, swarms okay, but, it's like I I like a, a ground streak combined with an air streak because that that in my opinion it is more effective than just like than like two air streaks. Enemy down. I mean I guess if I really want to get killed I go like dogs VTOL and Lodestar but I mean I don't like the Lodestar too much it's not as good for spawn trapping especially in demolition since that thing's like going around the map and they're only spawning in one area of the map so VTOL you can kind of control it where you're, where you're going so anyways yeah so I just kind of go right here just hover over the spawn find the missiles over there and see yeah see there's those guys hiding inside the building yeah you're not you'll be able to get them unless you have the dog up so that's Part of the reason why I have dogs up. See, I keep getting canine kills because at close quarters it is really hard to take out a dog. I mean, unless you have something like a shotgun, I mean, you're pretty much screwed because they just launch at you and then, like, yeah, you're basically dead. Okay, they sort of slip here. They flip here, but the problem is with the spawns in this game is that they don't spawn inside, so basically, if someone has another streak, like a streak like this up, there's nothing you can do. I mean, honestly, these guys probably should have left the game, but thankfully they didn't, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to get the gameplay that I got. So here I just go camping again, put my claymore down. Look, see, and I'm almost to my, I'm almost to my V-set. See, a double here. See, that, that's the good thing about 
the streaks, how they re how they cycle through by. each other, like because by the time you're done with your dogs and your VTOL, like you're ha halfway to your next V side, and you can just keep going off of there. And, and that's one thing good about Black Ops 2 is that your streaks cycle like that. Orbital V side online. I mean, it makes it a lot easier to get gameplays like this because you know, having the orbitals up really helps. I mean, people aren't going to be able to sneak up from behind. If they try to, you can always get them. Hunter killer drone deployed. Anyway, yeah, you just gotta be careful because that guy could have been like a sniper and try to quick scope me. Because quick scopers or good quick scopers can really get you. You can really get you, even if you, if even if like you're head glitching with a shield. So there's my second VTOL, my second dodge, this round, which is really good. I mean, I don't often get that like. I mean, if I didn't get killed off my my VTOL by that SMG guy, and my teammates extended like let them win the round, so we could extend the game, we could have I could have had easily had a hundred plus easily. I could have been maybe I don't know just maybe 130 range or something. Except maybe the 90s. Like I mean, I could have had a lot more kills, but. I mean, unfortunately, randoms don't always cooperate with you. Like, you get killed off the streaks by stupid crap, like rushers. Hey, when people out the rush your camping spot, you get killed by rushers, and then, and then what happens is, it, it, yeah, you, you die for streaks, not enough time to go off for another VSAT or anything, so it's basically, you, you, yeah, I only got six kills the next round after that, like, the next round, and it's like, it's like really? It's like I was expecting 100 plus for sure. I mean, at the end of this round, it's like yeah. I mean, I'm at 84. I can go, I can go for 100 plus, but no. I mean, sure, this map is harder to spawn trap on because I mean it's bigger than Nuketown. It's like Good job. spawns a little bit weird. So as you can see, I did go 84 and one. Demolition. So here I spawn this side, and then I'll show you guys the best spot, camping spot for this side. Clear the objective. A little bit, it's harder to control than uh, the other one because you got that, that the ladder entrance, you got this the stairs entrance. I mean, you can come through the window even. You can even come from the roof, like from from both both windows over here. Like you can climb like a dumpster or something, come through the window right in front of me. It's, it's just stupid in my opinion. And then here's a sniper. I take him out. And then, Yeah, it just, I don't know, it's not, it's, I mean, many of the decent camping spots have way too many entrances, in my opinion. It's like, it's like, there's no even point in, like, camping in their, like, regular game modes because spawns flip so frequently. Like, you'll be, you'll be rushed so easily with shotguns and, with shotguns in this game and SMGs and they're just OP in many ways compared to, like, you know, many of you think LMGs are kind of OP, I mean, so they kind of are at like when you put a target finder on them and you use them at range, but at close range, their target finder LMGs are not OP at all. They're actually really hard. They're actually really hard to use because the target finder, like it's a tunnel site. Basically, it's a t it gives you tunnel vision. Bomb active. I mean, yeah, just okay. So here, yeah, I think it comes up soon after I get my VSAT. Like I see this rusher come around. If you watch the, you watch the mini map, I think, I think you can see there's like some rusher comes around. Look, 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 watch the mini map. I think some rusher, yep, you see that rusher just coming around here. And I think I try, or I don't know when he's going to come, but he comes around. And yeah, I, got, I basically killed a few off my beetle. And it, it, I was really, I was kind of pissed. I was like, what the hell? I didn't even get, I only got like one hit mark on him. It's like, I should have got more. Just, did I see? See, look at that thing. See, I noticed that that guy on my mini map, but it noticed him too late. And I tried to, killer drone in I tried to take him out. Look, look, see that? But he 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 could move. To he moved too fast. I mean, Russians in this game move way too fast, in my opinion, just because. I don't know. Maybe that's just because I'm a camper and like campers hardly move at all. But I mean, rushers move so fast sometimes, like they can get past your claymores without lightweight or such. Like, all they have to be using, like, dexterity or something, and they just get past your claymores a lot of the time. And it's, like, really annoying. See, here's my teammates playing the bomb. It's like, I have no chance of getting my streaks. They're not letting... They're not letting them defuse, because... Here's the thing. We should have just let them defuse. 
care let them win the round and then do overtime and then go a little bit into overtime and then uh, towards the end of it just plant it I and mean, give us the most time possible because you want you definitely want an overtime round if you're spawn trapping but no these ran these rams aren't gonna coordinate with me or sometimes they do but I mean a lot of times they just don't listen they just want to play the objectives like oh I see a bomb here I better boat plant it's like really it's like yeah sure maybe you get 200 points for playing the bomb but I mean, you probably, I mean, you can get so many more points just by getting kills, I mean, honestly. See, and there's the gameplay, guys, so, I mean, I do go 90 and 2 on standoff, so it's pretty good, so, just like, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed, so, and, and have a nice day. World of War out.